I was always interested in the way the brain worked. I was always wondering, uh, you know, how do we control movement? How do we store memory? The problem we have in neurology, and in particular in Parkinson's disease, is that we have lacked biomarkers to help us uh, to understand whether someone has the disease or how the disease might be changing over time. Well, my research focuses on uh, deep brain stimulation. We know that DBS has very profound effects, but there are some patients who don't get as much benefit as we would like. So we need to understand what, what is it about is it the type of dystonia that they have? Is it where we're putting the electrodes in the brain? Is it how we're stimulating? So all of these questions still remain. It can be very difficult to be sure that you're treating Parkinson's disease effectively uh, because the symptoms may be quite variable. We simply don't have the tools to help us to uh, understand whether the drugs are working at an early stage. So biomarkers really uh, afford us that opportunity the Michael J. Fox Foundation is playing a crucial role in enabling the science to make impact in uh, disorders like Parkinson's disease and dystonia. The Fox Foundation, you know, is, is really the, the only place where a, a study of biomarkers could have taken place. The Parkinson's Progression Marker Initiative really holds the promise to really be a, a, a game changer for Parkinson's disease. I've had an opportunity to work with many, many, uh, you know, outstanding uh, individuals along the way. It's crucial to have mentors. I've had mentors who have helped me in, in managing, in understanding the science of, of Parkinson's disease and understanding the clinical aspects. Until we come up with a way of preventing these disorders, there's going to be a steady rise in the number of patients. Well, I think we need to uh, train up uh, a, an army of scientists, an army of doctors. The Bachman Strauss Award is given for uh, contributions to the field of dystonia. It's remarkable when you see people that have really made uh, fundamental discoveries into uh, the causes and treatments of dystonia. It is the most prestigious award and it's very humbling and I'm very grateful to uh, the Bachman Strauss Foundation for having given me this award. It's really an honor for me, but it's an honor for all the people we've worked with over the years to be recognized by the Pritzker Prize. Right now, because dystonia responds very slowly to stimulation, we don't really know whether we have the right dose of electricity delivering to the brain. We'll use this award to better understand what areas of the brain need to change with the Sony, what areas of the brain go wrong and how to change them with electricity. The most interesting research that uh, is, is really developing, and that is, can we identify individuals uh, who are at risk for Parkinson's disease? Wouldn't it be wonderful if we could intervene before they were really stricken with disease? That's the dream, that one day we'll be able to First, slow down the illness so that once you're diagnosed, uh, you, we can stop the illness, put the brakes on it, and eventually uh, ways of actually uh, wiping out and erasing uh, these tremendous disorders.